The city of Cote St. Luke has responded to Quebec's new phone message for English services under Bill 96. It's come out with a phone message of its own. Now, Angela, Cote St. Luke's message, tongue firmly in cheek, but the point is very serious. So it is a reaction, Mitsumi, to the new provisions of Bill 96 that came into effect yesterday. New messages went up on 311, 511, the Auto Insurance Board and others telling people that they can get English services, but only if they fall into certain categories. Callers have to attest in good faith that they have the right to be served in English. So here's the message Cote St. Luc put on their city line today. Ville de Cote St. Luc. Pour continuer en français, appuyez sur 1. If you'd like service in English, press 2. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to show us your grade 3 report card or your family tree going back 10 generations. And you don't have to pinky promise anything. This is the city of Cote St. Luke. And that's how we roll. So Cote St. Luke has bilingual status, so it could have left its message as it was before. We spoke to Stephen Early, a Cote St. Luke city councillor, about their message. For us and for myself, the, the point is to say, hey, uh, this law, Bill 96, is so absurd that someone has to stand up and say it. Uh, you know, we can't just allow things like this to exist without speaking up. You know, I'll say at the same time, we, we understand, of course, the importance of preserving the French language, uh, but we feel this is not the way to do it. This is, uh, this is just going to cause things to get worse and not better. Now, Erdely wouldn't say how long the recording would stay up, now contrast their message to Montreal's 311 recording that went up yesterday. Bienvenue à la ville de Montréal. Pour le service en français, faites le 1. For service in English, press 2. In accordance with the charter of the French language, we will be pleased to provide service in English. If you attest in good faith that you are covered by one of the following exceptions. If you are a person declared eligible to receive English education. If you are an indigenous person. If you are a recently arrived immigrant residing in Quebec for less than six months, if you are calling from outside of Quebec, or if you corresponded solely in English with the city of Montreal prior to May 13th, 2021. If you are this in good faith, please press two. Otherwise, please press one. Now, when you go to the English version of the city of Montreal's website, the English content is still available, but it also takes you to a page that explains Bill 96 and who qualifies to access services in English, including who can visit the city's website in English. The English version of the city of Laval's website includes a link which takes you to the Quebec government's website explaining Bill 96. And then there's the city of Longueuil, which has put up a page now explaining how to use Google Translate to translate its website into English. Now, Eva Ludwig with the QCGN is calling this absurd and potentially embarrassing for the province. What we saw yesterday with the Montreal website and all that, I mean, it is so silly, but it has serious impact. And that is the unfortunate part. And it just demonstrates how Bill 96 was really not thought through. And a lot of things that were put in there without really thinking about, well, what does this mean for ordinary citizens? And I, I hope that we just, this does not end up making us again a laughing stock uh, outside <laughs> our province. Code St. Luke is also preparing a lawsuit against the province coming next week, along with 22 other municipalities and constitutional lawyer Julius Gray. Mitsumi? Thank you very much, Angela.